Hey, tonight, today, we're going to be talking about my portable burning bar slash thermal lance setup. This is what I used, a variant of this is what I used in the videos where I was burning the brake rotor that I've had up on YouTube for so long. We're going to start out with the oxygen tank. It's a medical e-tank. It holds 680 liters or 24 cubic feet of oxygen at about 2200 PSI. In order to use this tank with a standard oxygen regulator, you have to have a CGA, Compressed Gas Association, 870 to CGA 540 adapter. You can buy it on eBay most times for less than 20 bucks, maybe 30 with shipping. If you're not fortunate enough to find it on eBay, those are not cheap. Sometimes they run in the neighborhood of $100. We then have a standard Harbor Freight oxygen regulator. $29.99 when I bought that one. A length of hose, oxygen hose from a, that I had from a spare set, and a quick coupler. Now, a note, anything in this setup that was not certified for use with oxygen prior to me starting this, I had to clean to be oxygen safe. I'm not going to try to tell you how to do that because I don't want the liability. I'm telling you, you don't need to do any of this. But everything here has been cleaned to be oxygen safe. Have a quick coupler. The purpose of the quick coupler is so that if I wish to use a longer hose, longer oxygen hose that I have set up to run my bar, I can do so without having to spend a whole bunch of time threading stuff. That attaches to the Campbell Housefield tire inflator. That's what this was in its original incarnation. All right, you have your standard quarter inch plug. Alright, there's your deflator that I had to tie off for the zip tie. The reason I use this is so that I have a dead man switch. If I take my hand off the trigger, oxygen quits flowing, puts out the fire at the end of the wand. Very important when you're dealing with stuff that is hot. I plug this with a uh, standard bolt. I had to re-thread the primary outlet to 1 8 inch uh, pipe thread. I used 1 8 inch to quarter inch pipe thread brass adapter I got from CarQuest in Mariana and then a standard quarter inch quick coupler. Now to the interesting part the actual burning bar. This is a quarter inch quick coupler plug, a quarter inch to three eighths inch flare adapter CarQuest part number EDE124640 and then a piece of 40 inch brake line CarQuest part number BL640 filled with 15 1 16th inch E70 S16 welding rod for gas welding or TIG welding. I use the 40 inch brake line and the 36 inch welding rods so that I can burn all of the welding rods and I don't get quite so close to the heat because let me tell you something this thing does throw some heat like I said somewhere above 6,000 degrees and in a nutshell that is my burning bar setup that's the portable the bar setup maybe one of these days I'll get around to uh, having my uh, demonstrating my uh, backpack rig that all this goes in for when I'm working around the farm uh, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out my videos where I actually burn the uh, the brake rotor with this rig. And uh, go to my webpage at www.samuelrayleyeford.com. It's, li it's linked there on the side of my YouTube page. Look under Auction Safety, read that page, and then there will be a page there in the very near future that shows how to actually build one of these bars and the details and how not to do it more importantly because please don't do this because this is very dangerous